Dominique Ducharme has been fired, okay? He's out of here. Even though the Habs' new management confirmed only a couple of weeks ago that Ducharme's job was safe for the remainder of the year. Yeah, they fired him anyway. <laughs> he fired the living crap out of him. So, what was the last straw? Was it because Michael Pozzetta wasn't playing last night? Huh? Maybe this is what made Gordy Tron snap? Or was it because they lost 7-1 to the New Jersey Devils and players looked visibly upset after it was over? I mean, we all saw Josh Anderson's press conference. It wasn't good. Something must have definitely went down. I'm not sure what it is, but to change your original plan of keeping him for the remainder of the year, something must have happened. Something unexpected. I doubt we're ever gonna know. Maybe some of the players actually went above Ducharme and complained about him. Who really knows? We'll probably never know. But what we do know is Gordon and Hughes, they changed their mind. They put on their tactical gear, SWAT style, and they went in and fired him with guns a blazing. And you know, you could almost sense something was about to go down. You could cut the tension with a knife. Petrie was unhappy. He did voice his concerns over Ducharme's system publicly a couple of times this year. He also asked for a trade. Then we had Josh Anderson, who clearly wears his heart on his sleeve. You know, he told the media this was embarrassing. He's embarrassed right now, and the whole team is. So I think the doo-doo hit the fan, and they just had no other choice but to go out and make a drastic change like this. And believe it or not, the first guy today to, you know, make a statement about Ducharme possibly being fired was Tony Marinero. This guy said, BAM! After the loss last night, he thinks Ducharme's gonna be gone. I really didn't think much of it. I thought he was just, you know, a little angry. Until then, we got a tweet from TVA Sports. They mentioned that Ducharme was likely to hit the road. And above all, when Frank the Tank Sarah Valley of Daily Faceoff made this tweet, we all knew Ducharme was burnt toast. That was enough confirmation for me because Frank the Tank is the man. Now the Habs did practice today and after the practice, Luke Richardson, of all people, spoke with the media and a lot of people were thinking, coincidence or what? When it became known that Ducharme was on his way out, there was quite a bit of speculation that, okay, I guess Richardson is going to be named the interim head coach and then during the summer they're going to hire somebody else, but... Then the Habs decided, you know, barring Dominique Ducharme is not going to be the only curveball we throw your way this day. February 9th, five days before Valentine's Day. Giving all Montembeau a friendly reminder, you're welcome. Because Kevin Weeks and some of the boys, they were throwing around some old Twitter noodles that were actually sticking to the wall. They said they thought that Martin St. Louis is going to be the new head coach. I read it once, I didn't believe it. I read it again from another guy and I didn't believe it. And then holy crap, a few minutes later, it was confirmed we got Marty St. Louis as the new head coach of the Montreal Canadiens. Pierre Lebrun would say after the end of the year they're going to reassess the situation and who knows, maybe they'll part ways with him, maybe they'll keep him. Now I have read some conspiracy theories that maybe he's only going to be there to be some kind of a jailhouse snitch, you know, he's in really good with Hughes and Gordon, and maybe he's just getting in there to dig out the dirt on some of the players. Let the boys in charge know what's going on. But in all honesty, I think that St. Louis is probably going to get extended, whether you want to believe it or not. He's part of the clique, he's part of the team. Even if the Habs don't win another game this season, he's going to be given the benefit of a doubt because this team is being rebuilt anyway. Is he going to be a good coach? I've got no idea, but I'm sure in two years, we're probably going to be calling for his hit on a stick too. Pfft, it's kind of funny how it is. Everybody's saying he's going to be great, he's a winner, they're listing out all the things that he's done over his career, all of his achievements. I mean, hey, look at these stats. The guy was a beast, a miniature beast. And while I am optimistic about him behind the bench, I'm not on the bandwagon just yet. Until I see some results, okay? I want to at least see what he can do. I want to see how his system looks. I don't care about winning, but I do care about his decision making and how he's going to treat the kids and so on. We can all talk about what he's accomplished over his career until the cows come home, but we've got to keep in mind, I mean, even Wayne Gretzky was a head coach at one point. 
And, you know, a lot of people considered his coaching career a failure. And we all know the career he had. I'm not trying to piss in anybody's Cheerios. I'm willing to give him some time, even beyond this year. But because he is new with no professional coaching experience, we need to just tone it down a couple of notches and patiently wait. Wait and see what he can do. Now, just giving everybody a heads up, there is going to be a press conference tomorrow. We're going to have Gordy Tron, Mr. Clean, and Honey, I Shrunk the Coach all in one setting. It's going to be interesting to hear what they're going to say, so you might want to tune in. I'm not sure if he's going to be behind the bench tomorrow night, but I'm kind of thinking he is going to be. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. What do you think of the new interim head coach, Martin St. Louis? Do you think he's going to be the guy moving forward? Or is he just going to be here to play out the remainder of the season? Also, let me know what you think of the biggest news of all, the unsuspecting axe drop on the head of Dominique Ducharme. Thanks for watching. Slap around the like button a little bit. And hey, I'll see you next time.